It's been a while since you and I have done a good old fashioned let's refurb on some Game Boy Pockets. I have two here, um, which I got for $42 from Japan. Where else do you get such a good deal? Here they are on the listing. And as you can see, it was $42 with free postage. The photos show that they're not in too bad condition besides the pretty severe damage to the screen. When I zoomed in on the battery terminals, I remember seeing a little bit of corrosion, but hopefully uh, we'll be able to clean that all up. In the description, it says condition is not working and junk. So hopefully, we'll be able to resurrect these beautiful little Game Boys. We have here on the left-hand side, the DMG style gray Game Boy Pocket. And then over on the right, we have the traditional black. Um, this one has the LED, which is quite nice. To be honest, this is in very good looking condition. These stickers look great, but that's enough chit chat. Let's open them up and see what they're like. So obviously we're gonna to need to do a uh, retro bright on um, this one right here because it is a little bit yellow. I'm not sure you can uh, quite pick that up, but it is a lot yellow on this side uh, compared to this side. The black one is pretty good inside. It doesn't look like there's any sort of corrosion going on. And the gray one does actually have quite a lot of corrosion going on inside, but hopefully it won't be any match for the isopropyl alcohol and Q-tip combo that we also dearly love. A lot of Japanese sellers just sort of like try it and then it doesn't work um, and then they give up. But actually if you just give your batteries a little bit of a sort of a wiggle inside, you might get a better connection and then it might turn on. So let's give that a try. Ah, absolutely splendid. Is there any lines on the screen? No and no. So that is bloody lovely. Right, let's go ahead and get into this video. So we are now down to the two screens. We're gonna to need to repair them. I'd also advise maybe using a cut-proof glove to, uh, to have a go at this. The sad thing is with these, unfortunately, you're unlikely to peel off the glue. The glue is actually gonna stay stuck to the screen. Unfortunately, that's just caused because of the burn. So we're now gonna to need to take this off, this whole layer that's stuck on here. So with isopropyl alcohol, I use a 99.5% alcohol. Um, and then I basically use the Q-tip as a sort of a spoon to put it on the screen. You could probably get a pipette though, uh, which would work a lot better. But yeah, just sort of spoon it on. You need it to, to sit on that glue for, yeah, I'd say around sort of 15 minutes maybe. <laughs> Thank you. 
Alright, so the black Game Boy is more or less in immaculate condition. It's pretty much minty inside. There isn't anything uh, that stands out as needing to be cleaned. So I'm not going to put this in hot water because I really don't want to damage the stickers. They're in really good nick on the back there. So um, what I think I'm going to do is just quickly reassemble this one. Both of the screens are now... Um, you know, all cleaned and the goo and glue has been removed. Unfortunately, on this Game Boy screen right here, there's a little bit of um, pixel um, LCD liquid crystal leakage up at the top. I've cleaned up the motherboard and it's come out looking absolutely lovely. So what I'm going to do is actually set a timer on my phone and we'll see how quickly I can reassemble this Game Boy from start to finish. All of the buttons and components really don't need a clean at all. So what I'm gonna do is set a timer on my phone, press start and just reassemble this Game Boy from absolute scratch and see how long it takes me. So three, two, one, go. Boom. Well, I can confidently say that I set a world record reassembling the first ever black Japanese Game Boy with the model number MH1591176. So there we go. Put me in the Guinness Book of World Records, please. That finishes off the black Game Boy pocket. I suppose we need to test if it actually works, but before we do that, let's give this thing a bit of a Mr. Sheen over, uh, which is my favorite part. The screen lens on this thing is in immensely good condition as well. Honestly, this Game Boy really doesn't look like it's actually been used a lot. Or if it has, it was used by someone who really, really took care of it. So that's always nice to see. As you can see there, that screen is really green. So it goes from being like that, which is the more familiar Game Boy Pocket Color, to this. And that's due to the polarizer. So hopefully in the near future, I'll find some polarizer filters that don't cause that green issue. But and we'll turn it on, and it does look like it works absolutely perfectly. So that is one Game Boy down, one to go. This other one we're gonna to need to uh, retro bright, so it's gonna take a little bit more time. But yeah, so far, really happy with how this one has turned out.
So it is actually the next day. This took me a heck of a long time. I never really do videos like this where I'm doing two in one, but they came as a pair and they will finish as a pair and they look absolutely fantastic. I'm really, really happy with how it's turned out. You may notice the screens don't look identical. That is actually because what I ended up doing was ordering another Game Boy Pocket. Um, the DMG style Game Boy Pocket is a really rare one and I just wanted to finish it off really nicely with an official um, you know, screen with the correct polarizer. Um, the screen lens as well on this Game Boy Pocket is just absolutely mint. Um, and with the new sticker on the back as well, it just looks like a brand new unused Game Boy Pocket. So really wanted to just put an original screen in there. So I found on eBay um, for 42 euros, which I think comes to about 30, five pounds. A replacement Game Boy Pocket with a screen that is absolutely perfect um, and it had no flaws at all. Uh, the Game Boy Pocket itself is actually in pretty battered condition on the back but the front piece is uh, really good as well and so is the screen lens so I'll certainly be using that um, at another period of time. Um, also it came with one of these little boxes which I think is really cool. I've actually got three of these now. I'm a big fan of those boxes. Um, so yeah, that does mean that I have a, another screen here um, and a bunch of Game Boy components. Um, but more importantly, this Game Boy has been finished off with some lovely little extras, although it does obviously increase the price. But I could very well have just used the original um, screen that came in it and just had this sort of green tint. But yeah, so the black one, as we saw before, works absolutely brilliantly. There are no lines on the screen. The whole thing is in a lovely condition. Um, honestly, this is probably one of the best condition Game Boys I've actually got. So super happy with that one. And then now this one is in amazing condition as well. So uh, yeah, absolutely lovely stuff. Um, I'm a big fan at the moment of non-modded original um, Game Boys. I, I think I've modded so many at this point that I'm just sort of really into just the, uh, the unmodded minimalistic look of the Game Boy Pocket. It's such a lovely little console. There we go. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's definitely uh, been long overdue just sitting down and cracking on with a couple of faulty Game Boys. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like. Thank you to all the amazing artists who let me use their music. Check out their links in the description below. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.